Hi everyone and welcome to Natasha's Lips, Tips and Great Flips. I'm your host Natasha Jameson. On our show we discuss overall wellness and provide strategies for enjoying a healthy and fulfilling life. This is my passion and I hope that I inspire you to live your own. We are excited to talk to John McNeil today, host of The Unpeeled Show. We'll be openly discussing the reality of what it takes to live your passion. Also joining us is personal trainer Nancy Campbell. She'll be sharing her struggles with weight loss and confessing about the driving force that keeps her going. Also here today is Muay Thai Master Crew from Ajax MMA. He is here to demonstrate some vital self-defense moves that everyone should know. We start off the show with my partner in the trend game, Gail Harrington. Welcome back. And Vanya, Hi. welcome to the show. Thank you. <laughs> I'm so excited to have you ladies. And of course we are talking trends. So the trend for today is liquid, liquid exfoliation, moisturizers, and CC creams. Did so we you get have, that? This is a did. lot, it's a I mouthful. <laughs> All right, <laughs> so why we're talking about li liquid exfoliations is because when you reveal this glowing, beautiful skin, you, your makeup will slide very easily, uh, flawlessly, seamlessly, and all of the dull surface skin will be removed, and the really fresh, you know, cell turnover, fresh new skin will be revealed. And that's what it's all about. Is and more and more as you get older, ladies. Absolutely, because if you have textured skin, and you add texture to it like makeup, it is a disaster. It's texture more texture. Plus texture equals equals more texture. terrible, terrible makeup days. Exactly. So we have beautiful Vanya, and she has the most amazing freckles that you have ever seen. <laughs> Gail, can you believe that they? She was advised to have them lasered off. What a sacrilege! They no, are it's so a sin. Beautiful. It's a sin. Don't. No, no, no. Never. You. No. <laughs> You're beautiful. Do you sit? Thank are you. you getting sick of me saying that no, to you? Uh, not at all. No. Good. Good. So what we want to do is remove you know, the, the surface skin. We're gonna use a gel. So they, these um, liquid exfoliants, they look very much like a toner. Mm -hmm. The consistency, like kind of liquidy, some gel forms, and you wipe it on. We're actually gonna show you something that actually removes so that you can visibly see um, the cells that are coming off, like the dead skin. I'm just gonna use it on Vanya's one side. So I'm just gonna rub it in circles up to three minutes, and you can see right away it's starting to bead because we are constantly shedding skin and but cells. But it's a gentle exfoliation. It's very it's gentle. It's not the micro-tearing no. beads that land up in the ocean. Exactly. So the old way of scrubs was where you know they're very very rough and abrasive to remove and you're getting micro cuts of course in your the surface of the skin mm -hmm. this is very very gentle and you can use it daily so as you can see we're just gonna wipe that off and it's exposing some of the fresher skin underneath. And you can see there's a little bit of pink, which yes. means that she's getting blood flow to the face. Radiance and glow. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And of course, the next thing that we want to do whenever we're exfoliating, and I kind of prefer for people to exfoliate in the evening, just so that your skin will be more receptive to any, you know, retinols that you might want to use or any kind of moisturizer. We're going to add a little moisture to her skin right now. And if you exfoliate in the morning, always make sure you put a sunscreen on top you have because to. your skin is particularly fragile. At Absolutely. That point. Oh. So this is going to make it more receptive for. Vanya skin to you know accept this moisturizer that is very high in hyaluronic acid. And why do we want hyaluronic acid? Because it grabs the moisture. It holds. It creates a barrier for your skin, so that you you know you're very very hydrated and supple, and actually all the lines and everything soften quite a bit. So we're just going to let that set for a minute. Um, basically, you want to think about your skin type and what you know is beneficial for you, because you know people have you know different skin issues. Mm -hmm. Vanya and I, I kind of already knew that you know she has you know uh, normal skin, so I was able to kind of customize something for her. So the hyaluronic acid or anything else, and they have them at every price point. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not something that you need to invest a lot of money in. You just have to you know make sure that you purchase it. So I'm going to leave that there. And then what we want to do, and we're going to talk about the difference between BB creams and 
and CC creams. And what are they, Natasha? So BB creams are beauty bombs. So basically, they were specifically designed to, you know, mimic just a lighter foundation variation. Yes, and they were created by dermatologists. Dermatologists who know a lot about skin. For post-op work. Facial, yes, to kind of you know surgery. while you're healing yeah. to make sure that you know you kind of you're not clogging the pores and not interfering with your you know cell turnover and healing. So dermatologists have created them, but now the advancement is because they've added some ingredients for skin care. So they, you've got the pigment, you've got some skin care benefits, and CC creams are corrective creams. That's what we're going to use on you. I don't want to cover your beautiful freckles. Okay, just look this way. I don't want to cover them. I just want to make sure that I even out the skin. Mm -hmm. So they have a bit of a color correcting um, pigment to them and light diffusing uh, particles. So that's what we're going to do next. And you'll be able to see the difference from side to side very, very easily. I, like I said, I'm not trying to hide any of these great freckles. People are literally getting them tattooed <laughs> on their face. <laughs> Do you believe that? And some lady told you to laser them off? Yes. That wouldn't be Vanya. <laughs> that would not be you. I couldn't even imagine. It goes to show, don't listen. <laughs> be yourself. So we're just going to spread advice. this right there. So all we did, we just evened out the skin tone from left to right. You can still see Vanya's very natural. She doesn't wear a lot of makeup. But the liquid exfoliants that are the brand new hot trend right now are serving her a great purpose. We're not scarring up the skin. We're not doing micro, you know, uh, scarring. We're basically removing that, that dull layer. And when your skin is used to daily regeneration, it will actually do that on its own. It will actually regenerate and re exfoliate on its own. So this is really, really great over time. Don't you wish sit-ups worked like that? Well, <laughs> you know, <laughs> maybe they do. I don't know. You have to do them, I guess, right? <laughs> I don't know. So that is the whole look finished. And I think that just to keep in mind, just to recap for everything, you want to make sure that you use an exfoliant. The liquid exfoliants are the trend to try now. Moisturize, moisturize, moisturize with something that's beneficial for your skin. We use the hyaluronic acid moisture moisturizer for Vanya mm -hmm. and you want to just even out the skin tone. Vanya is beautiful in her own way. We're not trying to change her in any way. So we're just ma making sure that the whole skin tone is even. Thank you. Thank you. You're very welcome. Yes. Very educational. Yes. <laughs> and that's probably all the time that we have for today. So thank you for being on the show. Thank you. Gail, always a pleasure. Pleasure yes. to be here. And up next we speak with John McNeil. Stay with us. Natasha's Lips, Tips and Great Flips is sponsored by AMMA Ajax Mixed Martial Arts Academy, offering classes in Muay Thai and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu for all men and women. Sign up now for your free one month membership. Also offering women's strength and conditioning body blast boot camp includes a one week free trial. St. Nadala Macedonian Orthodox Church, located in Ajax, Ontario, offering banquet hall facilities for your weddings, celebrations, and special events, accommodating up to 250 guests. Welcome back. Joining us now is John McNeil, creator and host of The Unpeeled Show. This is a nonprofit organization committed to promotion, awareness, and giving back to their inclusive community. John and I will be having a candid conversation about the processes involved in creating and hosting a show, discussing the reality versus the misconceptions of what it really takes. We'll be pulling back the curtain to reveal the blood, the sweat, the tears involved in pursuing your dreams. John, welcome to the show. Hi, Natasha. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Was that dramatic enough? I was going for that. I, I think you got it. There's I got lots it. of blood Ooh. and sweat and tears for there sure. Is, there, there is. There is. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get into it, John. Yep. You wear many hats on the Unpeeled show. Tell us about that and how it all got started. Okay, so hats, yeah, it doesn't stop. It it's doesn't. Everything from running a coffee for my team to scheduling uh, to hosting to just being all, everything and everything the show needs yes it all started about 2014 i pestered rogers tv for about two years before they gave me a show as soon as they did the show uh, the first season had a six uh, episode pilot season mm -hmm. followed by 16 uh, episodes for season two and then uh, the death of rogers came in yes and uh, we essentially became a uh, social media platform Yes, absolutely. What was the biggest challenge that you faced with social media, with production, with everything? Because there is, I mean, it's 
the surface is just, you're just scratching it. Like there's so many moving parts. So tell us about that. People may not be aware how many parts there uh, are. The learning curve was big from going from a TV show to social media. Yes. Uh, going from 20, filling, you know, 23 and a half minutes to now essentially being able to do whatever we wanted. Right. Um, we didn't realize that at first. At first we were still putting out content in you know, TV format and mm -hmm. slowly adapted to the social media world was a big challenge. Yeah. So let me ask you this. People yep. will always assume, because I know that this is what is the case for me, that success happens overnight, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> you can succeed. Yes, so he's a, one, you know, overnight success opportunities just come to you. Mm -hmm. Tell us about the real journey. The real journey is it took about two and a half years to get it just to become a TV show. Uh, I went to school when I had the idea, I was studying at Second City. Mm -hmm. um, I had a lot of people with me at that time, but you know, over that process of two years, at the end of it, I was standing by myself. All yes. those people originally wanted to be a part of it. They do. Uh, we're gone. Yes. So I was left standing there by myself. I reached out to a friend of mine who was you know, in editing. I didn't know yeah. what <laughs> editing was. I was like, I got this opportunity to make a TV show. Yes. Do, do, do you think you could do it? He's like, I don't know. I could try and <laughs> there we went and we had a TV show. That's it. Uh, to now, like we still don't, like we pay out of pocket to do this. Yes. We're, we're all about supporting the community. We're not about filling our pockets and not filling them for the right ways. Yeah. Like I work full time. That's right. Yeah. It's so true because people don't understand that concept. Like I would shoot because I was also on Rogers and yeah. I would have to go home and take care of clients. Yeah. I mean, this is just the reality of how it is, yeah. right? So I want to know how you finally did find your team because it's really hard. It's not enough to have a vision and to, you know, go after like these production companies and stuff, but you need to have a team, a good team that's yeah. going to, you know, support so you. The team is comprised of uh, Justin Akulizan, who is the co-founder essentially. Without, I had the hosting and the scheduling, but I needed a video editor yes. uh, slash videographer at the time. Mm -hmm. And then slowly it was two of us battling, you know, against the Titans, yes. so to speak. And, uh, you know, my dad helps out where, whenever oh, he yeah. can. Like, I've shown him how to use the camera oh, my. when we're stuck. Uh, to another good friend of mine, Lawrence. To another friend, Alex, who went back to school for videography. And then A. Ray, she just uh, liked our mission and decided to help out. Yeah, that's really great. Yeah. Well, you have to have like a supportive team in order to move forward. And I know that there's a lot of stresses involved. Oh, for sure. You were telling me about something that happened with one of your friends that he developed alopecia oh, yeah, because that's, of the stress. That's the, my co-founder, yes. Justin. We we're under such tight deadlines. And some of the stuff we film isn't exactly filtered. So mm -hmm. when we'd submit an episode to Rogers, we'd spend all this time developing yes. the content and then it was rejected. And then we still have to fill that time slot. Yes. Uh, yeah, so he started developing alopecia due to stress. That's so unbelievable. So I had to find him some help. Yes, <laughs> well, of course, because that is something that's internal. Like your body actually attacks the follicle and you lose hair. I don't know if people were not sure about alopecia. Yeah, I, I don't have alopecia. That no. just went on its own. As it looks great on you, so yeah, don't worry. You. It works for you. How has your intention for Unpeel changed from before to now? Okay, so at the beginning, it was very character-based. I would perform in characters and interviews. So I had a sports character, a comedy character, and a rock character. Uh, and then over time, I had to change those based on us leaving Rogers. It didn't yes. make much sense. People were online messaging like, who are you? Yes. Like, which, which person are you? I'm like, I'm none of them. It made sense in a TV show, but That's when right. you stripped them apart, yes. it didn't make sense. So analytically through research, we found that people were starting to engage with me more than my characters. Mm -hmm. So uh, the big change happened yes. over that time. I hope that answered that. No, of course it did. Of course it did. Yeah, it makes sense. You do have to change and evolve. That's yeah. just the nature of the beast. It's constantly evolving and changing. And it doesn't matter what platform you are, and you know that. Yeah. So tell everyone the commitment involved in this, because it's huge. So especially for the first... Content, th yeah, filming, four, a production, three, taping. Four years, it was every day uh, every on top day. of my full-time job. So I'd work eight hours a day and then you know spend a little bit of time with my, my family and my sons and get back at it. Or sometimes I wouldn't even, I'd be going right downtown to film, you know, three, four artists downtown. Wow. 
Yeah, at first it was, we didn't have any content, so it was yeah. a race to get content, build these, you know, uh, relationships downtown yes, with course. a lot of the publicists yes. that we were uh, somebody that they could rely on yeah. as well. Yeah, and you have a huge following right now. Like you, I mean, you have been a huge supporter of mine, and I really greatly appreciate it. You have constantly been there to like, you know. And I, you, you, yeah, you do the absolutely. same, absolutely. But it. that's, you know, kind of like where I want to be, like yeah. that is kind of my purpose, and you do the same. So I'm frequently asked this question, I have to ask you too, what is it like to have your own show because I think people have these <laughs> grand it ideas is. it's like such hard work it is. really it's a labor of love it's uh, the most freeing and most passionate thing I've ever been a part of and also the most stressful thing I've ever been yes. a part of it uh, it literally has days where you ask yourself why am I doing this and then you have that moment you're like oh, this yeah. is why this, this is, is why. why this is why and I have to ask you the takeaway before we go yeah tell us about your takeaway to the viewers my takeaway um Believe in your path. Um, my path started as a very selfish one about characters and all mm -hmm. about me, and it's transformed over time into community. Yes. And I, it, cheesy as this saying goes, it's it's kind of grown on me over yes. time. Is you can't spell community without unity, Absolutely. and you have to really rely on one another and yes. support your scene, support the artist, support the business, support them where you live. Yes. Because did you have support just very quickly? Did you have your support? Not yourself? at first. We have, we have big support now because we are very unselfish. Yes. Uh, like everything we do, as I said, we, we do for not for profit. Yes. We, we do for the love of art and for community. And it shows. Yeah, thank, thank you so you. much, John. Thank you. It's thank pleasure. you for being a part of the You're show. Welcome. Up next, we speak with personal trainer Nancy Campbell. Stay with us. Natasha's Lips, Tips, and Great Flips is sponsored by Synchronicity Durham. By collaborating within each level of the community, the main purpose of Synchronicity Durham is to empower every open-minded citizen in Durham region with the tools and resources to achieve their greatest dreams, goals, and passions. Welcome back. I'm very excited to introduce you to Nancy Campbell, a personal trainer who specializes in strength and conditioning for individual and team training. Nancy and I will be discussing how she came from being the queen of procrastination and an expert yo-yo dieter to taking full control of her life, transforming to the incredible athlete you see here. Nancy, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. I'm so excited to have you here. Nancy, your story resonates so deeply because at some point in all of our lives, we have all forgotten to put ourselves on our own list of importance. As a mom of three with the demands of life, you hit your heaviest weight at 365 pounds. So I need to question you about that because that is, I mean, from what we're seeing right now. Can you share with us what, has, what happened in your life at that time? Well, like you said, I was a mom of three, and yes. I still am. Yes. Uh, I'm also a grandmother. Wow. Uh, yeah, my granddaughter is going to be uh, six in a couple of weeks. Oh, that's yeah. wonderful. But uh, yeah, I put everyone's needs ahead of my own. Um, I didn't eat. I was actually starving myself. Right. And uh, I was working 12, 14, 16 hour days. And I just uh, put everybody else's needs ahead of my own. Taking care of them, feeding them. Yes. To your detriment. And people don't yes. realize that when you starve yourself, your yes. body. Your metabolism shuts right down. Just shuts right down. Yeah. So people think that you're over consuming, but it could go the other way as well. Exactly. When people see obese people, they think they're over Overeating. They're yes. just sometimes not eating at all. Exactly. Or eating the wrong things. Or eating mm -hmm. the very wrong things. Yeah. Uh, talking to people about their life struggles yes. uh, in various aspects of mm -hmm. my life, I understand that there's always a breaking point, an yes. event, a situation mm -hmm. that kind of dictates the rest of their life. What was the yes. change that? the major change that happened for you to, uh -huh. to change your life. Mm -hmm. Looking in the mirror, I didn't uh, recognize the reflection that I saw back. Um, also looking at pictures that I had of myself. Pictures are bad. They <laughs> are, yeah. I kept Ooh, um, ripping up every picture that I had of myself. Oh, and I yeah. said, uh, this last picture that I had would be the only picture that my kids have, would remember of me. And I said, I don't want them to remember me as a fat person. So it was yeah, pictures that it did it for you. Yeah. Now, it's so funny that it's mm -hmm. pictures. It is. Because we see ourselves in the mirror every day, yeah. all day long. Mm -hmm. It's a picture that will literally stare you in the face. That's right. And sometimes, I mean, it will just break you down and, yeah. you know, devastate Pictures don't lie. They don't lie. <laughs> they don't, they don't yeah. lie at all. And I want to know, um, mm -hmm. why did you become a personal trainer? I found this story very interesting. It is. Um, nobody can really empathize 
unless they've been there. Yes, that's true. So when I became a personal trainer, I only wanted to work with people who were obese like me. Right. Because they were the ones who really needed the help. It's yes. not the, the people who are very thin no. and very fit. Right. It's those ones who are standing in the corner mm -hmm. who don't ask for help. Right. They really need the help. Yes. Yeah. But you also had a personal trainer, and I found I that interesting. Yes. Tell us, please. Yeah, he would come in 15 minutes late, leave 15 minutes early. Whenever I was doing exercise, he would look the other way when somebody was attractive. Right. Yeah, so I said, later on, we became friends, and I said, you are the reason why I became a trainer. That's yeah. a huge thing. It like, is. that literally changed the course it of did. your life because mm -hmm. you help people for a living now. That's right. So let me ask you, what is your intention in helping others yeah. reach their own weight loss story journey? Mm -hmm. I want them to be the best version of themselves, whether it's the becoming the best athlete, the best mom, the best friend, the best sister, whatever it is. I want them to have a competition with themselves. That's true. Right? That's the best because you is. can't do it for anybody else. You can't. No. You no. can't lose weight for yourself. I uh, sorry, for, for your, somebody your else. for somebody else, no. right? You have to do it for yourself. Otherwise it won't work. That's when that breaking point happens. 100%. And everything else just becomes crystal. You have to be fed up. That's right. You have to be angry. Hit rock bottom. You have to. Yeah. I feel like that's what needs to happen mm -hmm. and then you And you got to do it that day. You can't say I'm going to do it on Monday because like I did many, many times, I gained 10 pounds over a weekend because I'm going to say I'm not going to have that cheesecake on Monday, right? Mm -hmm. Can't do it. When your clients decide to make a change in lifestyle, yes. what would you say is the single most important factor that kind of takes them through that, carries them through it? You have to set a goal. You have to set a long-term goal saying, okay, I lost 200 pounds myself. Right. But, but can somebody I, say that from the right. get-go? No, you have to set a long-term goal. Say, okay, maybe I want to lose 200 pounds or I want to run a marathon. Okay. But you also have to set small-term goals that are attainable. Say, I want to lose five pounds. Okay. Or I want to get into that dress or I want to do a push-up. Right. Something that is attainable, something that is measurable. Okay. Like maybe they want to exercise a little more, so two That's times right. a week or something. Exactly. So it has to be like a discussion with themselves, within exactly. themselves to, to want to make a change. accountable for keep, that. So through friends, through network, exactly. personal trainers, all Person, of the above? Yes, all of the above. All of the above. Nancy, what does your daily work and exercise routine look like? Because I know that you're very, very busy. Yes. So how do you fit everything in? I work very long hours, so I get up extra early, so maybe about 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning for four myself. 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning, you yes. got to put it out there. It is. That's for me, Sacrifice, though, right? Yeah. So I work three hours before I go to the gym. Mm -hmm. I go to the gym, work out myself, come back home, train again, and then go back to the gym. But I also surround my life around my kids. My kids and my family are most important to me. So you're able to kind of monopolize Prioritize. your day, prioritize, and right. see what is like, you know, the most exactly. important thing for you to accomplish. People may convince themselves that expensive memberships and mm -hmm. trainers are, you know, the most important thing and they, they're very necessary. And they might be for some people. Exactly. They might be because some people just have that level of fitness. Mm -hmm. But for somebody on a budget that doesn't really have a lot, yes. I know that you are so kind and loving and warm that you don't let that stop. People, if they want to no. lose weight, you yeah. actually, money is not your currency. I have to no. tell people how yes. wonderful you are that yeah. you help people that want to help themselves. Right. I don't want to take myself out of no, a of job. Course. but. You know, you don't need a personal trainer. I have a full commercial gym in my home. Yes. I also work out of Mixed Martial Arts Academy with yes, crew. Yes, with crew. Right, but you don't need a gym. Yes. Right, your best piece of equipment is your body. body. You can just roll out of bed, drop onto the floor, do your push-ups, do your sit-ups, do That's your crunches. True. If you can't even do that, do a plank. Do something to get your body moving, mm -hmm. but there is no excuse. If you can, hire a trainer to teach your proper form once yes. and carry on. Right? And do it a couple of times just to help keep you motivated. Join a small group. Make mm -hmm. your own group. Make your own group. Just to keep yourself accountable. Yes, I like that. I think that's really, really important because yeah. I think if you're just doing it alone, you feel alone, you that's don't right. feel like you maybe you maybe you need a pick me up. Exactly. And you need that support. Mm -hmm. And that's really important. What do you think it takes before somebody actually makes a real change? Like somebody's watching right now. Mm -hmm. What would it take for them to at this moment? Just make mm -hmm. a decision to make a change for themselves and transform their life. You have to figure out what your triggers are. What made you, what started you in this, this, this point? Like what, stress? Exactly. What are your stressors? Okay. Right? Is it your job? Is it your financial situation? What it is that makes you so unhappy okay. that is bringing you to the situation? And then what? So we find out what that is. And mm -hmm. then what do we do? Change. Face it? You have to face it, of course. You have to face it face on. Because people are afraid of that and they don't exactly. like pain. They don't like, no, they don't. No, they don't. No, they don't. That's the don't. hardest part of my job. It, it's hard. It it's is. hard. You got to yes. push past that. Exactly. But how do you do that? You have to make the Little, uncomfortable. Small? 
comfortable. comfortable. Oh, Jillian Michaels. <laughs> <laughs> I love Jillian it Michaels. It is, but you know what? What you eat in private, you also wear in public. And that's what I tell my yes. clients all the time, right? Yeah. You can't hide no. behind your fears. Nancy, I want to yes. ask you what the takeaway is before we go. Your three points, the viewers that are watching, you're such a huge inspiration. You're going to resonate with so many women. There's no way. I mean, even for me, mm -hmm. I could not believe that you were 365 pounds. I told crew that's impossible. There's no way. It's not the same woman. Yes. You have to live the life for yourself. You have to. You can't live in fear. Okay. You can't. Um, you have to set goals for yourself. Okay. Yes. And put yourself First, on that list. Of course, prioritize your Because you're just as you. important. Of course, 100%. Live for your family That's and right, for, yourself. for yourself. Thank you, Nancy. Thank it's you so a pleasure to have you me. on the show. Thank you. Thank you. Up next, we speak with crew from MMA. Stay with us. Natasha's Lips, Tips, and Great Flips is sponsored by St. Nadala Macedonian Orthodox Church, located in Ajax, Ontario. Offering banquet hall facilities for your weddings, celebrations, and special events, accommodating up to 250 guests. Invictus Equality. We are the mistresses and the masters of our gender equality destiny. Welcome back. Here with us now is Kruya, a highly ranked and respected position given to Masters of Muay Thai. Kru is owner of the Ajax Mixed Martial Arts Academy in the Durham region, as well as my son's Muay Thai instructor. He is here today to help demonstrate some easy yet highly effective defensive moves that we can use in threatening situations. Kru, welcome to the show. Thank you very much, Natasha. I'm so excited to have you here today because unfortunately we live in a world that can be very dangerous, but we can become more empowered by learning some self-defense moves. Yes, absolutely. You yes. can. Yes, and that's what you're going to show us today. Yes, and it's very easy. Perfect. But first I have to ask you what the difference between Muay Thai and other martial arts is. Well, the major difference is Muay Thai is a very rigorous, uh, powerful, and combative sport. Mm -hmm. uh, much more powerful than boxing. So uh, I guess that's what's really distinguished that between some of the other martial arts. Yeah, because in my time, it was, I'm a Taekwondo girl, you know that. Yes, yes I do. And <laughs> I very totally age at my, yes. my, age myself. Uh -huh. um, so why do you think that Muay Thai has really picked up popularity all over the world? Well, I, I think a uh, number of reasons, probably the movies, there has been a number of movies that showcase the old form of Muay Thai, Muay Thai. and also uh, mixed martial arts. Mm -hmm. But also too, it's, it's one of the best way to get into shape quickly and a lot of people have found that out. Oh, I see. Well, that's mm -hmm. good though. Yeah. That's good because when women and children are kind of, you know, moving towards wanting to train. And I mm -hmm. think that's like really huge because my son was so interested. Yes, it is. It's, it's so easy to learn too. But uh, what it also does is build, builds a lot of a confidence uh, quickly and a lot of strength and flexibility and agility for kids, mm -hmm. women. Yeah. So it's, it's really a, a, a good martial arts to, to get into shape quickly. Yes. Yeah. So how would you know if it's suitable for you? Because I, I know that at your gym, gym you have like a, what is a week membership where you can try it. I feel like you have to try it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You have to try it. That's the only way to get started. Yes. Um, so once you get started, uh, it's a little tough in the beginning, but uh, after a, a few weeks, your body get used to it, you're on your way. And I think, uh, it, like I said, it's the quickest way to get in shape, yes. if that's what you're looking for. That's true. But if we're looking for more self-defensive moves, mm -hmm. that's another you know, avenue that you might want to go in. Why is it important to have some self-defense moves under your belt and just to kind of be aware of it? Can, de can it deter an attack maybe? Like, do you feel more confident? Do you project different? Well, of course, that's, that's the, um, the nice thing about Muay Thai. It's so simple, but it's so effective. It's one of the most effective fighting sport there is. So um, studying Muay Thai, obviously you become very strong, very agile, and very confident. I think confidence is one of the most important thing. And confidence will get you most of the time out of any situation. That's when true. Being confident and strong. That's true. So before we start to demonstrate some techniques, I wanted to ask you that Muay Thai is known as the art of eight limbs. Explain that to us. Well, simply because um, we have Four limbs in the body, two fists, two elbows, yes. two knees, and two shins. Right. Muay Thai uses the hardest parts of the body as weapons, we, we call it. Weapon. So we, we strike with the, with the fist, the elbows, the knees, and the shin. Right. And that's why it's called the eight, eight sense of eight limbs. So you, what moves are you going to demonstrate for us today on me? You're going to teach <laughs> me how to defend myself. Yes. Well, I'm going to teach. Um, well, I'm going to show you some of the basic uh, some basic strikes that you use to deter 
uh, an aggressor. Okay. And one of the simplest thing uh, to use is uh, is the palm strike mm -hmm. um, instead of a fist. Um, you know, we have different weapons, elbows, knees, and all of that. Okay. But some of the easiest one to use is the palm okay. strike and the knees. Okay. So, so you're going to show me how to do this? Yeah, of course. Talk me through it. Okay. Absolutely. All right. Uh, the first move we're going to uh, demonstrate is the arm grab. So I'm going to grab Natasha's uh, left arm. So she's going to step in to me right away and use the palm strike to the chin and then knee to the groin and then a toss to throw the person away. Good job. Thank you. All right. Good job too. <laughs> All, right. All right, next move, uh, I'm gonna grab Natasha by the neck. She's gonna slip her left arm through over the shoulder right away and strike to the palm, yeah, with the palm right to the chin and then knee again to the groin and then throw. Awesome, good throw. I'm enjoying that a little bit. All right. I gotta tell you. You're doing pretty good. Yeah, yeah I know. So. Sorry. All right. <laughs> All right. All right, next one. I'm gonna grab Natasha from the back. Gonna grab her here. And it could be someone's pulling. You're gonna step back in, arm under that shoulder, and then strike to the chin again with the palm fist, and then knee to the groin, and then throw. There we go. All right. Perfect. Perfect. Why good don't one. We do the all right, last one. Um, this is the, let's suppose somebody come up behind and grab you from behind. All right, we're gonna tuck the chin down, pull down with the arm, strike to the body with the elbow, step back around and then throw. That's it. All right, good Thank job. You. you did a great job. <laughs> Thank you, you were okay. awesome. All right, so the most important question Yes. of today is, do I have what it takes to be a part of the MMA team? I'm just asking. Yes, absolutely. Uh, you heard it here. You heard it here. Thank you so much for oh, being a part welcome. of the show. Thank That's you very amazing. much. Absolutely. That's all the time that we have for today. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Natasha's Lips, Tips, and Great Flips is sponsored by AMMA Ajax Mixed Martial Arts Academy, offering classes in Muay Thai and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu for all men and women. Sign up now for your free one-month membership. Also offering Women's Strength and Conditioning Body Blast Boot Camp. Includes a one-week free trial. St. Nadala Macedonian Orthodox Church, located in Ajax, Ontario. Offering banquet hall facilities for your weddings, celebrations, and special events, accommodating up to 250 guests. Invictus Equality. We are the mistresses and the masters of our gender equality destiny. Synchronicity Durham. By collaborating within each level of the community, the main purpose of Synchronicity Durham is to empower every open-minded citizen in Durham region with the tools and resources to achieve their greatest dreams, goals, and passions. Thank you.